what's going on guys and welcome back to some more spartacus yes sir today we're gonna be beginning with episode nine let's see where that takes us <laughs> anyways man spartacus blood and sand season one is amazing it's an amazing show it's an amazing show beautiful acting man um can't say enough about the show and how much i've fallen in love with it and the characters um last episode <laughs> last the last two episodes i watched very funny episodes um we got to see um spartacus um we got to see crixus with not a hundred percent kind of get himself saved by saving spartacus um i think in few in the future crixus and spartacus is because they're gonna become friends i think spartacus is gonna start to understand where Crixus is coming from when he's talking about brotherhood and all of this other stuff. I really do believe that they're going to find some sort of middle ground. They're going to still be rivals, but they're going to be friends in some sort of weird way. That's what I'm that's what I'm seeing like they're building that kind of chemistry or that story around these two characters. So I'm looking forward to that. Um also the 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 cat the catness, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's going on within the walls of the um, Batiata's house. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, Alethea, <laughs> she's 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 acting like she didn't know that she sent this dude to kill pa Spartacus and stuff. Her gladiator that she just bought. That's not even she. She didn't even become a gladiator yet because he didn't receive the mark of Batiatus, but. I'm looking forward to it because we know Shields out there. Batiatus knows that she put him up to it, but she's acting like she know what happened. Um, she, they're still mad after all these years. They're still mad that Spartacus is not dead. Um, cause he he kind of cost them everything. He cost them their status. You know what I'm saying? Um, and all the the legatus. You know the, the <laughs> he kind of. He kind of cost them not everything, but kind of status wise because of what, you know, he did the Thracian because of what he did at the beginning of the season. So I am definitely, definitely looking forward to see what is going to happen now. Now that Christus has saved Spartacus life, um, what are we going to see between the two of them? going forward and how this is going to play out we have mr doctore doing his investigation about uh, what is it barca yeah so he's trying to find out what happened what really happened so i i hopefully they don't dismiss that storyline because i really want to see what he's going to do when he finds out that barker that barker was killed for nothing so let's go watch these episodes and i'll catch you guys for the review all right so here we are man spartacus episode 9 and 10. episode 9 was epic like the way how they structured the episode like i never saw that coming and they're, they're sacrificing so much for status to get to status and then in episode 10 they don't get that utter level to go up because the thing about it is this what 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 from what i'm understanding from the plot of the show is batiatus is trying to get to higher places he's trying to get to the rise he feels like spartacus is that key to get him to that status i mean they're making a lot of money now you know what i'm saying he's bragging on salonios you know what i'm saying i'm glad to see the house of batiatus strive but at what cost? You get what I'm saying? At what cost? Like, in episode 9, Lucretia did some things that is not so good. You get what I'm saying? Because it seems like the god wants them to rise. But at the same thing, if they do stupid shit, they think that they're still going to get the blessing. Which is basically what I'm what I'm grasping from what's happening. It's like, it's like they're, it's like... If you do, if you let Spartacus do things that he's not supposed to be doing, yeah, he might be 
you know what I'm saying, blessed by the gods. But if you're having him doing stupid shit like this, you're going to pay the price for it. You are going to pay the price for it. So if you're not good to if you're not good to Spartacus, your house is not gonna strive. Period. You get what I'm saying? You if 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 everything went off without a hitch in in episode um um in episode 10 maybe you would have gotten that um you know maybe he would have uh, maybe he would have gotten that blessing from the magistrate maybe you never know if he never decided to sacrifice someone because of this kid you get what I'm saying? I, I, I know he did it just because he did it just because he could he could have refused. He would have not have favor with this guy anymore. You know what I'm saying? He could easily I think he could have invoked. You know what I'm saying? And saying, hey, man, we don't do that around here. They're a brotherhood. Yes, they're slaves, but they're a brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? I can't expect to lose one of my best gladiators just because your kid wants to have a good time. You get what I'm saying? Let this happen in the arena. If it was in the arena, fine. I, would, I wouldn't I would even be talking about it like this now if it happened in the arena. But it didn't happen in the arena. This was supposed to be an exhibition. You can't turn an exhibition into a, a freaking um, death battle. You know what I mean? A, a fight to the death. Like, that's not cool. And I know he did it just to please him because he didn't know what he, he thought. Okay, now I followed your orders. So, of course, I'm going to gain your favor. Of course. But you see, the guy looked at him and basically tell him, you know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not on that level yet. You're not on that level. Like, you got to have status and blah, blah, blah to, be, to, to, to go into politics, which is, which is a thing back in the day. I learned that from watching Rome. That you do have to come from certain families and stuff to to be able to rise in the Senate or even be in politics, period. So I do understand where he's coming from, but you can't but this this is a reason why people turn around. Like now he's saying um some um a response that will be answered in blood. So I'm looking forward to see how he's going to respond to this because Spartacus is broken because he basically just forced the guy to kill his one and only friend in the bo in the brotherhood. What do you think is going to happen now? Do you think he's going to be as loyal now? Do you think so? You got Spartacus where you wanted him. You you got him exactly where you wanted him. And now you put yourself in a position where he wants to hate you again. But hey, anything for status, right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm cool with Mira being there for him. I'm cool with that. I, I really do. I'm cool with that. She's a beautiful woman. Um, you know what I'm saying? I would definitely wanna see them grow together. I'm not saying that they should be sleeping together or anything like that, but she becoming a friend and ally at least within the house you know what i'm saying um and to tell him stuff that she's heard or whatever the situation is so he can respond in kind or, or whatever because the slaves they hear everything they're just afraid to talk because they're always around you get what i'm saying they're always around the, the, peop the people in the house they're not afraid to speak in front of them because you know what i'm saying these slaves are so scared of them you know that they'll get killed by the simplest uttering of everything but i feel like Crixus and 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 this girl is going to get caught also i think i, I really do i really do think they're going to get caught at some point i think maybe doc maybe doctor will catch them and not say much and not say anything or try to protect them somehow because doctor is still has a not necessarily uh, he still has a soft spot for Crix for Crixus. you know what i mean so I want to say that will happen. Um, the situation with Ilithia, the minute I saw her going, going there with that boy, I know, I know what was, it's like I had an instinct to, to, to like, I figured out that was what she was going to do. You know what I'm saying? 
like she was gonna the minute the, the change happened between the two of them she's manipulative enough she's manipulative enough to manipulate the boy to do because he kept looking at her and i was like i wonder if this kid is going to order them to kill each other or some shit like that and it ended up exactly well not exactly how as i thought it was going to go i thought he was going to like tell them to start fighting to the death but basically um you know <sighs> varro is done man like varro was one of my favorite characters because he got that lightheartedness to the show um he was the only guy that Spartacus could talk to. You know what I mean? So he lost his wife. Now he lost basically his best friend. And what is Crixus going to think of this now? Shit. He probably is thinking, shit, that could have been me. That might bring them closer. To be honest, thinking about it. That might bring Crixus and Spartacus closer because he could he could easily look at that and be like, oh shit, that could have been me. And probably Spartacus would have never hesitated to kill. You know what I mean? So maybe, maybe he will stop all this, you know, craziness. You know, but we'll we'll see what happens, man. This show, it keeps you on your heels. And I love the writing in it. I mean, other than the, the constant sexual you know, <laughs> that that happens with the with the with the dialogue, it's it's just you know what I'm saying? And they're not even hiding it. They are not hiding it at all. Like everything has some it not everything, but mo a lot of the dialogue is so sexual. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But anyways, man, we already know that this is like um this is like softcore porn. <laughs> softcore porn with a great plot so you know we're here for it but anyways man with a lot of blood and gore but we're here for it man i'm looking forward for more from this this was not the great not what i expected i never expected to lose varro as a character in the show at least not now you know what i'm saying so because you know you need that balance you do need that balance for spartacus there that was his balance now he's gonna be off balance you know maybe not even want to fight anymore if if you know what i'm saying and now batiatus is worried in a certain in a certain way i think he is going to be worried because you know what i'm saying like you gained his loyalty you did you got him and now you took away something precious from him again again <laughs> You know, so we'll see what happens, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Spartacus is such an awesome show, man. Can't thank you guys enough for recommending this show. I've heard of it for years, um, but I was kind of drained on watching stuff from those times, <laughs> I guess. So, I, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that I actually took a chance and and to to watch this show um because i did hear great things about it i just thought it was going to be that good i knew it was about gladiators and stuff but i didn't know it was going to be this good but we're watching it we're here but thank you guys so much once again hopefully you guys um having a great time watching this with me um you guys let me know as much i want to see more comments though i know a lot of you guys are out there watching it I um, want to see some more comments. I know a lot of people don't watch my reviews, and that's probably why they just forget to come back. They just watch the show and then watch the reaction, and then they don't come back to YouTube. But if you're watching this at the end, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you're new. Boys out here. See you guys next time. Terabyte Reacts out.